Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Rad Tarot, and this is going to be Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon and Scorpio Rising Weekly Tarot Reading June 11th to June 17th, 2018 Four cards spread for Scorpio and the first card that marks up the topic for Scorpio this is going to be the Ten of Wands Second card that shows up the core of the situation that is going to be the Queen of Wands third card which expresses up the challenges that you need to overcome that is going to be the, the king of pentacles and then we do have the guidance card which is the hierophant wow all right scorpio so it does look like that this week you will have to totally obey by the rules of the game so what happens here is that you have a supportive of yours and then you do have someone you need to prove yourself in front all right so it's kind of like someone is preparing you or rather like you are preparing yourself to take on an exam or something this is displayed here by these couple by these three cards so what happened is first of all this is going to be a, a very busy week in a sense that you will not have much of a time to attend to your personal self all right because you have invested yourself or what it seems or you will invest yourself into a um, uh, how can I place it? Uh, it's not. It's an activity, all right. <clears throat> a very wanted one, as a matter of fact. But what you didn't knew is that by you investing yourself into it, you will have to obey, as I said, the certain rules, and you have to please certain people. So this is an awesome opportunity, but in the same time, the means of that opportunity or the follow-up, it is not something you have been prepared for. That being said, you are going to find yourself very overburdened trying to align and adapt to the situation itself all right and uh, the core of the situation here is the queen of wands and that is that supportive of yours which is constantly going to encourage you and which is going to point to your weak points and your strengths as well your or your weaknesses and your strengths helping you to utilize the very maximum of your potential so you can place it into the exact um, into the exact place that it is required and needed so you can actually enthrall the one that you need to so investments can flow in your life that could be either for relationship or either for career because investments are not just only money but it is also time or just oneself so either one is going to invest themselves into your agenda or into your things or they want but that will depend on how um, how well your performance will go during that particular week here with the Ten of Wands. Now you need to know that you have to please them, all right? Because this isn't just showing yourself ca capable, but it is also showing that you can actually create comfort around them. You need to know that the King of Pentacles as a person is someone who invests into something only if there is something for them into that something all right into that activity or into that enterprise so if it is a relationship you know and you want to enthrall a certain person and if they decide to invest i have to warn you that they are not investing just only because they have emotions towards you they have made their calculation and there is something else into that relationship for them that gives them a, a severe benefit Maybe Maybe because they know that they can just mess around with you without you you know raising your voice about it all right so you have to be very careful if this is a about relationship in case it's about career and you're about to sign a big contract for yourself make sure that you read every single word in that contract because the devil is going to be in the minor details all right and then we do have the hierophant here as a, a guidance card first of all the hierophant or the father of the hierarchy says that the hierarchy needs to be maintained what that tells us is that no matter how um, good attitude you're gonna face from these couple of people you need to know where you exactly sit and you sit beneath them all right so you have to behave like you are beneath them that doesn't mean that you need to behave like a slave all right but you need to behave in a pro in a, an appropriate manner because they are not friends of yours all right they are co-workers they are associates uh, into your private circle but they are not friends of yours not at least and uh, uh 
anymore and not anymore but not at least now and also the hierophant points that you need to honor the traditions which in your particular case means that you should not surprise them by any means you need to go on to already established patterns established convictions you know already established part of how one thing needs to work so if it is about relationship it has to go through dating and it has to go through a lot of dating getting to know each other all right if it is about career, it has to go through interviews, a, a trail period, etc., etc. You cannot expect that you will be placed as an um, executive director straight away. So, it will take toils, it will take work, alright? But at the end, it will be worth it if you show that you are capable to work for that person and to please their demands, alright? So that being said, Scorpio, this was your weekly tarot reading, June 11 to June 17, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you're interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.